and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a link icon. We'll start with the rectangle tool, drag it freeform and you want to drag this circle downwards until you've got the full curvature. When we size it, you might want to check if the circle is still at the maximum position. Something like this is a good starting point. Now press Ctrl D to create a copy and I give it a different color. So I've got two stacked on top of one another. Then use the dynamic offset and go downwards with the first one. Select both and then go to path and difference. So we've created one object with the cutout. Next step, once again press Ctrl D, give it a different fill color, put it to the bottom, then path dynamic offset. And drag this little icon upwards. Then select it all, path and difference. So now we've got three objects. It's a good idea to give them different colors so that you don't get lost, but you don't necessarily have to do that. I'll just do it. It allows you to follow this tutorial a little bit better. Select all three, Control D, drag a copy to the right while holding Control, and I give these three elements on the right a different color as well. What we now need are two cutouts, and we're going to perform them on the dark green object, so this one. The first one, pick this on the left, so the outer one, put it to the top, shift click on the dark green element, so both are selected, then go to path, and then use division. So we've created this cutout here, and we can select it and simply delete it. The second cutout that we need is right here where this red element is. So this one needs to be at the top. Then once again, shift click on the left dark green object and then go to path and use division once more. Again, we've created a cutout. We can select it and simply delete it. We don't need these elements anymore. We can delete them. Select all green elements and press Ctrl G. Ctrl D to copy it, give it a different fill. Click on it again, rotate it while holding Ctrl. You may want to activate the snapping and then reposition it properly. If it doesn't snap, it may be because there's this other object beneath it. So in this case, it's this mustard green object. So it's a good idea to delete it first. You may want to zoom in to properly select it. Just hold control and use your mouse wheel to zoom. Select the object on the left. Zoom in at a certain intersection right here, and now it should snap. We can now use path and combine. Put the one on the left and the one on the right. Then select it all and give it the same fill color. I'll rotate it. And I size it a bit down, holding Shift and Control. And now I create a background, a simple one. Let me use the Ellipse tool. I hold Shift and Control. I put it to the bottom and I give it a different fill. I'll select it all, Object, Align and Distribute, put it to the center. Whenever I resize stuff, I'll hold Shift and Control. Press Control R to see your rulers. You may want to have the Snap to Path active right here, this icon on the right side. And then you can drag this guide and make it snap to the link icon. So these two guys should be enough. But you have to watch out for this area right here. Let us use the busy tool. The snapping should help. Always left click. The guides help you. Then close your path. Give it a fill color. 
put it in between the link object and the circle. Then shift click on the circle and use path division. Now let's play around with the colors. Let me make that white. I use a lighter tone for the circle and a darker one for the shadow. I'm going to edit and delete the guides and this is how you can create such a link icon in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.